uh, search, whatever they want to search, printing services, uh, gaming services for our young kids, so they have an idea of technology, as well as training, which has the capacity to train 20 people at a time. I want to thank you and thank the First Lady as well for uh, coming along with you to see what uh, we are doing as a result of your direction, Your Excellency. When you officially opened the Gweru Community Information Center, Your Excellency, you asked me how many people have we trained at the community information centers that you had opened prior. And I wasn't very sure, so I stumbled on the answer. And you said, we want a very methodical program that is training our people. When we put up these establishments, they mustn't be for just political mileage to come out on TV. They must really impact on the community. I'm glad to say uh, we have responded to Excellency through the Postal and Telecommunications Regulatory Authority and have started rolling out an organized training program across all the community information centers that you have officially opened, Your Excellency. I'd like to update you and say 10 community information centers, uh, Bindura, Chinoi, Gweru, Lupane, Jaunda, Chikato, Mrombezi, Mpandawana, Gokwe, Mapisa, Dangamvura and Murewa have started training. Uh, Your Excellency, we were amazed when we called out uh, people to come in and register for this training. One of the most amazing areas was Gokwe where on the first day more than 150 people turned up wanting training. And through the Universal Services Fund, this training is being offered for free for the year, after which a, a small amount will be charged in order to recover costs. The president is refusing the charge. <laughs> we will take that as a directive, Your Excellency. Uh, but the training is basically how to set up your internet, how to use a computer, how to uh, set up an email account, how to uh, search for information on the internet. And uh, uh, in Bindura, where again the turnout has been amazing, they are now actually having three sessions a day, one of the sessions in the evening to cater for those that are coming who are occupied during the day. We have statistics that I'll share with you in the interest of time. I'll not go through those that have been trained, but we have statistics that we have prepared for you, Your Excellency. So that is what we have done since you uh, gave us that directive in Gweru. Your Excellency, these community information centers, we don't just see them as a, an internet cafe or somewhere where people must just access computers and uh, internet. We believe that these form the basis of e-government. We believe with coordination with various other government departments, we should be able to offer various e-government services where we lessen the burden on our people to go and queue at the registrar's office to apply for a passport. But through coordination and cooperation, we can ensure that these community information centers become the points where people can lodge in their applications for things like passports, for instance. And we are working on a program where we have sent delegations to Europe to the Middle East and to, uh, to, the, to Asia to look at some examples that we would like to implement in our own country. Your Excellency, we also believe that uh, while it is important that as government we invest in the ICTs, uh, we are creating an opportunity for outsiders to come and provide us software. We are creating an opportunity for outsiders to come and sell us computers. And therefore, as government, we must invest in our own people to become masters of their own destiny by writing their own software. Uh, we have started a program, Your Excellency, which is now just waiting for a date where you can officially launch it, where we have raised seven million US dollars to give out to the youths across the country who are innovative and are able to develop applications and software that we can use in our country. We are calling this innovation, uh, we are calling this initiative the Innovation Drive and it is being done in partnership with all the mobile and telecommunication operators in the country who are contributing to this fund. We believe this will address the amount of US dollars we are shipping out to purchase software from American companies, European companies, as well as <clears throat> Indian companies. We believe you must create employment locally and the base is there as you realized yesterday at the National University of Science and Technology where you kept uh, thousands of graduates, that we are developing the nucleus of uh, 
uh, young Zimbabweans who can then do these developments. What they need is government support, and through your direction, we now have the $7 million that we would like to ask you to officially launch, and we can start disbursement to uh, beneficiaries. Your Excellency, <clears throat> I'd like to also uh, reassure you that uh, we are on course that by the end of the year, the 160 community information centers that we promised you will be complete across the country will actually be complete. And that is the promise uh, that I've been given by uh, Comrade Vute and Dr. Machengete that uh, they are almost you know, uh, completing that work and those will be available uh, for your commissioning, Your Excellency. Uh, I don't want to take much more time than I have already, Your Excellency, but once again to thank you and to thank Amai for coming to officially open the Kulumane Community Information Center. And uh, I would like now to just say, before I ask you to address uh, the audience here, Your Excellency, uh, the mark of a great leader is in the vision. It is in the ability to see well into the future. And I remember, uh, before I even entered into politics, I was speaking to one politician who is still a politician, so I will not mention him, just in case people think I'm canvassing for his promotion. Uh, he, he mentioned that one of the things that you will find amazing uh, about our president is the ability to see him today, but he's not living today, he's already living well in advance. He has already seen this day long time ago. So that is the vision I'm talking about. When we talk about ICTs, when everybody didn't worry about computers or computers didn't matter to everyone, President Mugabe had already seen well ahead of us that the gadget, that internet is going to be a major requirement of every human being's life. He started by making personal savings and buying computers from places like Malaysia so he could distribute to schools across the country. And today, it is now fashionable to donate computers, but the vision was with the president more than 15, 20 years ago. So the vision, the mark of a great leader is to see way into the future. Allow me to invite our visionary leader, His Excellency the President of Republic of Zimbabwe, Comrade R.G. Mugabe, to make some remarks. Thank you.